Welcome back to another episode on BO Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at what was the worst add on in Sega's history for the Sega Genesis, the Genesis 32X. As you probably know by now, growing up with Sega created tremendous loyalty to the brand, and I bought most anything Sega put out. Although happy with the output, of the Sega CD, I was never happy that the CD add-on would never truly hit its true potential. About to move on to the 32-bit era, Sega drops another bomb on keeping the Genesis on life support with pushing the Genesis to the 32-bit arena. Excited but cautious once again from the Sega CD's lack of pushing its hardware, I too was skeptical with the 32X, seeing the nice reviews from games like Doom. Afterburner and Star Wars Arcade made me want the add-on more, but with Virtual Fighter added to be released for the 32X, it made it a must-buy in my mind. Luckily, it was on sale at the time for $99, so I was, wasn't was there at the beginning, but I was there for its ultimate demise. Codenamed Project Mars, the 32X was developed and released by Sega in 1994 and was supported until 1996. The add-on would combine the Sega Genesis and Sega CD to add more colors, 3D polygon effects, and virtually make the system a 32-bit gaming powerhouse. Wanting to be a standalone system to be a low-cost entry for consumers, Sega of America, Joe Miller, convinced Sega of Japan to convert their system into becoming an add-on for the already super popular Sega Genesis with its high install base. With two 32-bit central processors that were also used for the Sega Saturn and a 3D graphics processor, this add-on looked to be a cheaper alternative to the Sega Saturn and more. With the Saturn on the horizon along with PlayStation and Nintendo coming out with their own systems, Sega had issues gaining third-party support for what looked to be a band-aid to the Sega Genesis, and the only games to truly take advantage of the hardware were games from Sega themselves. With most companies devoted to the 32-bit era with Saturn and PlayStation, third-party support would make Genesis games with more color and not really taking advantage of the hardware making this add-on worse than the Sega CD. With new systems around the corner, the 32X was pretty much dead on arrival with a little fanfare and giving the consumers yet another reason not to trust Sega. I myself only play about three games consistently with the excellent Virtual Fighter, Virtual Racing, and Star Wars Arcade. Other than those games, it is extremely hard to recommend playing the system more than just an educational retro look at a gaming history icon and maybe what could have been. With Watermelon Games pushing the boundaries of the Sega Genesis with Paprium and Pierre Solar and the Great Architects, a new project for the 32X seemed to be in development. Although rumors are not truly a game, I can only hope that someone tries to take advantage and push the technology to see how far we can push the add-on on making it worth more than just a novelty item. Although not too many games to speak of, here are my picks for the Genesis 32X. Yeah! <laughs> 
Dodge! That's it for me on this look on the ill-fated Genesis 32X add-on. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.